of the University of Dayton, uh, subverting and undermining religious institutions. So what else is going on at this Dayton? Okay, anti-racism resources about this guy. This guy provides a starting point to learn about anti-racism, inclusion, and privilege, as well as provide information and resources intended to support the University of Dayton community. Blah, blah, blah. In a racist society, it's not enough to be non-racist. We must be anti-racist. Isn't Angela Davis like a pro-cop killer, like psycho-radical, like person of a certain small hat variety, but also Blake? Could be wrong about that, but I don't think I am. Uh, What is waifism? I think we're going to get the standard power plus prejudice nonsense. Racism is prejudice plus power. Anyone of any race can exhibit racial prejudice, but in North America, white people have the institutional power. Therefore, racism is a systematic systematized discrimination or antagonism directed against people of color based on the belief that whiteness is superior. What's your favorite uh, black first world advanced nation? Let's let you marinate on that one. I'll, I'll let you, I'll let the spiced people kind of spice that one, spice in that one, uh, marinate in that one. Um, as we, uh, unspiced, unmelanated people, uh, just continue to make advanced, you know, scientific advancement and actually create civilizations, uh, that sort of thing. But anyway, uh, where was I? This is just such incoherent gobbledygook. It is insidious, systemic, devastating, and integral to understanding both the history of the United States and the everyday experiences of those of us living in this country. This is all gobbledygook and just getting you worked up with, like, loaded adjectives, isn't it? I mean, (laughs) screw these people. These people should not have a platform at all. Um, Screw boomer conservatives, the predominantly white boomer conservatives who just allowed this to happen who threw their hands up and just were like, oh yeah, well, you know, leftists have the universities. That's just the way it is. Cowards. A common incorrect definition of racism in the, is a colloquial definition. The one that we were using up until like seven years ago. <laughs> that definition. The one that made sense. Um, but really, it, it was only like incrementalism. They were just incrementally moving toward what we're seeing now. Racism is prejudice against someone based on their skin color or ethnicity and can be committed by anyone. This is not an accurate definition, nor the one used in most anti-racist circles. It highlights individuals' thinking and actions, but ignores embedded institutions and cultural systems. Like policing, I guess. Like, if a black person pulls a gun on a cop and gets shot, then, like, you know, that's racism. Uh, Non-white folks can be agents of racism as well. Gestapo agents, dude. (laughs) So basically, like, if you're a white Karen, so-called, who calls the cops on, like, that black dude, for instance, who was haranguing her at the park, if you're that white chick, you're, they're letting you know that you're a Gestapo agent, right? Agents of racism. (laughs) This isn't our fucking universities, dude. I mean, Dayton, yeah, it's a religious institution, but I mean, that should give people more, you know, cause to stand up against this if they give a shit. Um... Particularly when acting as representatives of white-dominated systems. Uh, Do you see that there's two non-white people dominating this institution right now? Or system right now? Do you see this? Uh, Such as higher education. Uh, Again, uh, this person is like the head of this department, I guess. Or a member of this department. Women, ethnic studies, women and gender studies. It doesn't look like a white person to me. It doesn't look white-dominated to me. Um, using to discriminate against other people of color. For example, a black manager at a company may insist that a black employee's natural hair looks unprofessional or an Asian professor may knock points off the presentation grade of a Latinx student who speaks with an accent. This is all made up and hypothetical. Uh, What does this grifter, huckster, race hustler have to say? Let's see. So my name is Ibram X. Kendi. And I'm the author of, of How to Be an Anti-Racist. What well, happy motherfucking Kwanzaa. And this book really seeks to show that the contrast is actually not between racist and not racist, but the contrast is between racist and anti-racist. Don't care. What I think many people who I reject your concepts as, as not racist don't realize is that really over the course of, of history, 
nearly every group of people that we actually consider to be racist have also identified as, 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 as not racist, whether that's white supremacists today or segregationists of, of yesterday. And so really, each of us should be striving to be anti-racist, not necessarily striving to be not racist, because really that's a term primarily of denial and it's a term really that doesn't have much meaning. You don't produce anything of value. That's why I don't like you. When, when someone <laughs> I mean, says that there's something wrong with a racial group, uh, they're being racist. When, when someone <laughs> says there's nothing wrong with any of the racial groups, they're being anti-racist. When, when someone supports what? policies that create and reproduce racial inequity, they're being racist. When someone supports policies That's insane. that yield and create racial equity, they're well, being an anti-racist. And these aren't necessarily... Illegalizing murder and theft creates inequity between white and black people because black people murder and steal at a higher clip. So therefore, illegalizing murder is racist. Therefore, we need to legalize murder and let all the murderers out to be anti-racist, which is exactly what they're advocating for, by the way. I mean, right before COVID race war, I have a video running my channel you can check out uh, maybe I'll put it in the description of leftists driving their car around a prison here in Milwaukee, honking their horns, spraying, like, exhaust into the fucking atmosphere, honking their horns to release prisoners because of ma COVID-19, right? But really, it was just, like, months before the big hoopla with the rioting and shit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, that I mean, I'm, I'm rambling a little bit here, but basically these people want to, like, release prisoners and sick them in your neighborhood, like I've been saying identities or, or fixed categories or tattoos literally what we're doing in each moment determines who who and what we are in each moment and people change from moment to moment and and from Just mystical year to year. gobbledygook and i think we should identify people based on what they're saying and doing because no one ever becomes racist or even anti-racist uh, i mean you get books like that you are an idiot who eats mealworm burgers.